Hey guys, what is up? It is Coach here today, and today I want to talk about a subject that I think is really relevant to people all across different CrossFit gyms, um, training facilities, people following training programs, people who are training with other people, people who are doing community-like type training um, in general, and that is the subject of rep cutting. Um, so rep cutting is something that I guess is um, commonly referred to as when you are training with other people and you are all doing a workout together and you realize that one of you in that group of people doing this workout together is cutting repetitions and is not doing the amount of repetitions required of the workout. Um, so essentially one person is cheating the amount of repetitions that need to be done for the workout. Now this is probably a video that I've been really hesitant to make um, and something that I've been hesitant to address both within um, the community that I train and uh, in general because I didn't think it was something that uh, needed to be addressed or something that uh, was really so individual on it that uh, it, it shouldn't have to be addressed but I've had so many people um, I guess come up to me in regards to this that I think um, it's probably something worth talking about. So let's maybe explore and analyze um, like why somebody would, would cut reps and, and, and why that happens. So I guess the first thing to understand is that there's, there, has to be, there always needs to be context in life, context as to why is something occurring and why is somebody doing what they're doing. So if we can apply just that paradigm of thinking to first creating context within the understanding of why is something occurring, let's create two scenarios. One scenario where the context is somebody is cheating, so somebody is willingly and purposely deciding to um, not do what everyone else has agreed on doing or not doing what the, is asked of them and they um, decide to do less reps or change the range of motion of a movement or to make the workout easier for them. Now, now we, should, we need to define whether this is right or wrong um, and we need, to, we need to understand in, in relation to us and someone else how this could be right or wrong. It's wrong in the sense that um, the person is cheating themselves of doing um, what they've, what they've um, I guess, mutually within themselves agreed that they were going to do. So I guess the, the aim of so much of what we do is to create a challenge for ourselves, a challenge that if we complete, we get a, uh, a feedback of satisfaction from completing. Um, but there's also a purpose to training beyond that, beyond just the challenge. The purpose of training is that exercise is a tool that we use to create a stimulus on our body. That stimulus being a strength stimulus, that stimulus being an aerobic stimulus, um, whatever that is, right? We're using these different tools so that we can make our body adapt to that stress and then we become fitter, stronger, healthier, um, you know, create more stability, whatever it is, create better sense of balance, accuracy, body awareness, etc. So. Really, if exercise is just a tool for developing something else, whether it be an aesthetic goal or a performance goal, um, the repetitions themselves, could you could argue um, their subjectivity and their objectivity as to how much they matter, right? Especially when we are doing things for time, where there's a big blur in the sand of whether doing things right is better than doing them quickly. So that's just the first thing that needs to be spoken about. And that can be a whole conversation on its own, so we're not going to dig too much into that. But that's something that I think is that needs to be have, be held in context. The second thing is maybe maybe if we just strictly look at why do people cheat a workout or why do people cheat movements, um, it, we have to have two contexts. One, are they doing it um, to affect us, and they doing it to to maybe they feel like if they don't complete something they feel like they aren't as good as the rest of the group. They feel that if they don't complete something in a given time frame or in a, in a time that they think they should be able to do something at, maybe that says something about them. Um, that becomes a big psychological game because I don't, people don't cheat just for the sake of cheating. Um, people often cheat for a goal and that goal could be winning. Um, and winning could mean things like winning the workout. It could mean winning their own self-approval of who they think they are which again goes down a big rabbit hole of psychology of um, people meeting their own ego um, and their own needs of feeling like they are worthy of themselves and that they are worthy of the respect they have for themselves. Um, and that, that's complex, like that goes beyond just telling somebody don't cut your reps or etc. But maybe if you're listening to this, that's something that you should think about. Like if you know that you've cut reps in the past, 
realize that um, you know that's something that happens. Like there is this you know internal um, you know uh, d debate that happens within humans where the the idea that we have of ourselves doesn't meet the reality of who we are and when that occurs right like let's say that you think that you should be someone who can do 10 strict pull-ups but the reality is you can only do seven then you're gonna have an internal conflict and you're gonna have a cognitive dissonance which is something often referred to where again two emotions don't quite meet with each other where you're gonna feel upset and if you feel upset as humans it's very normal to want to run away from that feeling because the feeling of being upset is something that none of us want to experience so that's something that you need to think about when you get upset at somebody else cutting reps. Why are they doing it? And this goes beyond into the next place, which is understanding that life has context. And um, not everyone has a perfect life. Maybe the person cutting reps had a really stressful day at work. Maybe the person cutting reps is having some sort of back pain. Maybe the person cutting reps is, uh, you know, uh, in a position where, you know, their, their husband just left them. Or maybe the person cutting reps has just had somebody close to them pass away. Maybe they have um, any, any one of a thousand different variables, all right, known as life. Um, you know, are we, gonna, are we gonna judge them? Are we gonna get upset with them because they have decided to, to treat a workout, which is something that should be a stress reliever in life, not as seriously as you, because you have all your eggs in one basket that are completely lined up. Um, and this is the most, this is the stressful part of your day. Um, you know, that, that's again, a diff, that's a different conversation and that's something that needs to be understood. And the third thing that I want to talk about is that you are just hitting yourself if you are cutting repetitions because um, you're not going to become as fit as you want to be. And what I spoke about at the beginning with in relation to um, having cognitive dissonance if you cut reps or you lie about how much weight you lifted or you um, and you do it every time consistently then then that becomes something that you're gonna you you might be able to lie to yourself and tell yourself that you are this fit but then one day you might come into a situation where you actually have to be tested in a scenario where you aren't able to cut reps and you might realize that you are this fit and then rather than having a small cognitive dissonance of this difference, you might now have an, a really large cognitive dissonance. And then that's gonna feel even worse because now your self-esteem and everything that's tied into your own feelings about yourself is gonna be is gonna have a greater difference than in the past. And then that's gonna be a worse feeling to have. So for your long-term, I guess, just mental health, um, self-preservation as a person, it's in, again, in your best interest to not be cutting reps for that feeling that you might one day experience long-term. And the last thing is, um, you know, this this is just something that I don't think people think about enough, but whenever you're doing something mutually with other people, there's a, um, I guess what's known as a social contract, contract, um, which is basically we're all, whether we realize it or not, accepting that we are going to do the terms and conditions of what's written on a whiteboard or et cetera. And we are all going to be doing those things because we um, want to and we're agreeing to. And if we don't feel like each other is agreeing on the same thing then that creates dissonance within a group or a community and that's not helpful for the community that's not helpful for group training because then that creates a sense of animosity or a sense of um, feeling like you're being betrayed or like you're being lied to etc 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 and i guess the last caveat is and this is i guess very specifically just to my personal gym that i coach at which is if you cut reps, I'm aware. Um, if, if I haven't mentioned something, it's because of all those contexts. Um, to some of you, I have mentioned it in the past. And the only person you are cheating yourself is you. And there's an awesome quote that I heard the other day. And um, I just, like, I loved it because I, it was, it, I don't know, it just spoke really powerful to me. And I said, people don't care what time you got. People care how hard you worked. And that's the cool thing about CrossFit. Whenever somebody finishes, no one cares about the person who finished first. Like people, I mean, people might be, oh wow, that was really fast, but everybody sits and cheers for the last person going because that person is probably a lot of the times the person who's working the hardest, the person who's putting the most amount of effort, and the person, the person who is probably working above and beyond their own capacity, which is why they're finishing last. That's what people really care about. People are never going to remember how cool well you did or how awesome you did, but people are gonna remember if you're cheating. And that's just, that should be the last thing that should encourage you to not be cheating yourself in your workouts or other people. Anyway, food for thought guys, enjoy this video and peace.